Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Today we're going to be doing my everyday makeup routine, um, which is why I've got no makeup on. So the first thing I do is get my hair out of my face, and I'm going to use this clip today. So the first thing I'm going to be starting with is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I basically just use this as a primer. And so I'm just going to take a tiny bit maybe about a pea sized on my fingers and I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and I'm gonna pat it just around my t-zone where I tend to get my makeup falling off pretty quickly and we got a little bit of work to do today because I've got a little guy there I've got to cover up I've got some scarring here I'm gonna have to cover up and you know I pat it in and I do a mixture of patting in and smoothing so after applying the Maybelline Baby Skin, I just like to let it sit in my skin for a minute or two like I've just done. And then I get started with concealer. And today I am using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in Fair. And this is what the packaging looks like. I like it. It's a nice little brightening concealer. I don't recommend it if you're looking to cover up some spots. But I think it's good for the under eye area but today because my spots aren't too bad and because I'm going to be putting foundation on I'm just going to use it on everything and so I'm just going to apply this right here on the inner corner and I'm going to dab some dots like this and I'm going to put some up here on this pesky little pimple coming in and just to sort of brighten that area because it's not too red so we want to brighten it up and conceal it. I've just got some redness going on here so I tend to get a little liberal with applying this everywhere. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend it in. I've already wet this but generally speaking you do want to wet this first before using it. It really just helps everything sort of sink in and look more polished. And so I'm just going to start with my under eye area since it's the first area that I applied the concealer in and I'm just going to tap it into my skin and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna like brush it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tap it in a continuous motion and then I'll go to the other side and just because I haven't said it already um, before starting on my makeup I did start off with cleansing my skin and you know eye cream and moisturizer so I did put that in and normally I will leave my moisturizer on for 10 minutes before I get started on my makeup and I'm not looking for this to come out perfect I just want my skin to look nice and bright. I want the spots coming in to be somewhat concealed because I will be following up with a foundation which will give it a, you know, a little bit more coverage but if you see the imperfections that's okay too. So the next step we're going to do is I like to wear cream eyeshadow on the day to day. Today I'm going to be wearing Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Nude Compliment which I believe was a limited edition and that's what it looks like in the package. And this is what it looks like inside. It's a little bit lighter than bad to the bronze. And so I'm just going to take a little bit on my ring finger. And I'm just going to sweep this on my eyes. And I'm just going to put a little bit more on the side. Just a little bit more to keep them some even. <laughs> keep them some even. I don't know what that is, guys. I don't know. Next thing I am going to do is foundation and so the foundation I'm using today is this one from Tarte I love the packaging for it and it is the Amazonian clay full coverage airbrush foundation and I use the color fair honey but basically how I like to do this is I just take the kabuki I guess it's a kabuki brush or I think they call it an air bookie or something I don't remember the name but I basically like to take this brush and I dip it in to get some product and that's how much product I have so I'm going to knock some of it off back into there and I'm left 
a little bit more, just a little bit more. And I'm left with about that much product on the brush. So then I'm going to take the lid and I'm going to swirl it. Got to swirl it over a paper towel so I don't get this all over my bed. <laughs> and I'm just going to pat it into my skin in the T-zone. I'll do a little bit of the rest of my face, but I concentrate most of it on the T-zone. You also want to make sure you're getting under the neck so that it evens out your skin tone, like it transitions well from your face to your neck. So once I put my foundation on, the next thing I like to do is highlighter. And I'm using this little sample that I got in a birch box ages ago. And this is just the Bombs Mary Luminizer. And you can tell it's very much loved because I'm almost out. And I'm just going to put it right here on my brow bone. And then I'm going to stick it on my inner corners. Yeah, so now that we've got our highlighter done, and I just put it in the inner corners and the brow bone. Sometimes I'll put highlighter on my cheekbone, but I don't really have time for that today. And if I'm honest, I'm not very consistent with doing that. So the next product I'm going to be using, if you watched my November Favorites video, you'll remember this. And it's just the Rimmel's Brow This Way. Um, I really like it a lot. And I'm just going to take this and apply it to my brows to give them some color since they're pretty thin and some shape. And I'm probably not super good at this. I feel like I'm constantly messing up my brows. But this is a fairly foolproof way to just do your eyebrows and go with one product. And I just sort of make sure the shape is clean. And I don't know what to do about these guys. This happened when I was like 19. And it, it just won't go away. Like it won't tame. I don't know how to tame that part. If you have tips, leave them in the comments below. I would appreciate it so much. Before I put blusher on and bronzer, I like to curl them eyelashes. And so I just go in and I curls them. And then we're gonna come in with my bronzer. I always like to use that before blush. This is from Physician's Formula. I forget the name of it. Um, what I'll try to do is I'll try to find it in store or online and link it below. And also, all my makeup, as long as I can find links for it, will be linked in the description box. And so I'll try to find the name of this for you guys. And I'm not the best at contouring, but this routine works for me and I have noticed it makes my face look more chiseled and defined. And what I like to do is I like to just give a light sweeping, a very light sweeping to my forehead and then I just like to do like that to down here and also <laughs> there is the camera shaking again because I'm shaking because I can't stay still for some reason um, and I just use the brush that it comes with because one I don't have that many makeup brushes and two it seems to be decent I've it was a little bit difficult to use with the bronzer in the beginning, but I've figured out a system where it comes out okay and everything is all good. And then I'm just going to suck in my cheeks and do my lower cheekbone. And then I'm going to take the other side of the brush and just blend that out. The blush I'm using today is Rimmel's Lasting Finish in 006 Autumn Catwalk. It's one of my favorite blushes, and I can use this all year round. I really like it because it's like a, a pinky color and then a peach color, like a peachy rose color, and then, you know, a, a red, and I just like to mix them all together, and I'm just going to put this on my cheeks. For the last step in my routine, I'm going to be putting, applying mascara. I'm trying this one out currently, and it is Rimmel's Wonder Lash Mascara with Argan Oil, um, which really intrigued me when I saw it in the store. I tried to buy the waterproof version because I generally prefer that because I find 
especially with Rimmel mascaras. If I don't get the waterproof, I find it just like, basically, it ends up all down on my under eye. But I've been testing this guy out for, I would say, two or three weeks now. And surprisingly, I don't have that problem at all with this. And this is the first Rimmel mascara ever that I have not had that problem with. Um, so I'm just going to apply this. And I tend to be really, really slow when applying mascara. Because um, if I go too quick, I always end up getting it all over and I mean all over my eyelids and so I really 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 take my time with it I tend to do two coats I had to wipe some stuff off I don't know about you guys but I don't like when it gets like gumpy stuff on the end here I always gotta like wipe it off the brush <laughs> it just it bothers me a lot <laughs> so I have so that's what I'm always doing um, and now I'm just going to do the other eye. So this is my finished makeup look and now I'm going to take my hair back down. This is my everyday makeup look. I just really like it. It wakes up my eye area and it gives me a nice amount of color since I've got very pale skin and it just works for every day. I really like it. It's super easy, super quick. I can do this in 10 minutes and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having an awesome day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos. And let me know down in the comments, you know, what your favorite product to use every day is. Um, any other videos you want to see from me. So I want to hear from you and interact with you more there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!